Coastal wetlands are an extremely important component of the Great Lakes ecosystem, providing food, shelter, and breeding grounds for a wide range of fish and wildlife. Unfortunately, much of the Great Lakes' original coastal wetlands have been lost over the last 200 years. In Lake Ontario, less than 10% of the original coastal wetlands remain. This documentary tells the story of how one of Lake Ontario's last large coastal wetland complexes was saved for future generations. As one of the largest coastal wetland on the south shore of Lake Ontario, Braddock Bay is an important migratory stopover location for birds and waterfowl. In the spring, birders come from all over the world to participate in the annual Spring Hawk Migration Survey. Historically, Braddock Bay was an important nesting site for black tern, a marsh nesting bird considered endangered in the state of New York. However, no black terns have been confirmed nesting in this area since the early 2000s. The bay is also important to the Lake Ontario fishery, with its diverse emergent marsh and sedge-grass meadows, which provided spawning habitat for species like northern pike, until the expansion of monotypic invasive cattail stands, filled in channels, and altered native vegetation communities. My name is Heidi Kennedy, and I'm a wildlife biologist for the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation Bureau of Wildlife. Hopefully with the habitat improvements in the bay in the form of increased habitat diversity and protection of the emergent marsh habitat will come improve opportunities for wildlife dependent recreation such as hunting, trapping, fishing, and bird watching. The project will also provide more and improved opportunities for kayaking and canoeing and hopefully improved navigation in the bay itself. Hardening of Lake Ontario's shoreline has decreased the amount of sand moving along the shore, reducing the sediment available to nourish downdrift beaches. Over time, fierce storms wash most of Braddock Bay's protective barrier beach away. Without the protection of the barrier beach, the coastal wetlands that formed in quiet waters in soft sediments are no match for the fury of storm waves. Between 1902 and 2009, it is estimated that approximately 123 acres of emergent wetland were lost at Braddock Bay. My um Best memories of Braddock Bay are uh, ducks, 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 and ducks. And my worst memories are standing and watching the um, large clumps of, of uh, cattails float out to Lake Ontario, which is one of the reasons I'm such an advocate for this project, because the break wall will help to stop the erosion of the wetlands. In addition to erosion, the loss of the barrier beach also allows sand and silt to sweep into the once clear waters of the bay, increasing turbidity and altering native wetland plan communities. The sand and silt filling the bay have also hampered recreational use and led to a decline in the activity of the marina. Throughout the planning and design process, project partners coordinated with local, state, and federal stakeholders and experts to develop the best plan for restoring the bay. Several public meetings were held to share project concepts and to solicit comments and concerns. The final design addresses two main objectives. One, reduce the loss of wetlands due to erosion, and two, improve the suitability of existing wetland habitat for fish and wildlife. The final design achieves this through several measures. A barrier beach is constructed in the mouth of the bay to reduce wave energy and mimic the function of the bay's historic beaches. A network of channels and potholes have been excavated in the existing marsh to increase the diversity of physical conditions and ultimately support a more diverse vegetative community. Chemical and mechanical techniques were applied to reduce the coverage of invasive hybrid cattail species and phragmites. Lastly, three acres of emergent wetland are to be created within the bay to replace acreage previously lost to erosion. To understand if Braddock Bay has been successful, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and project partners are monitoring the various components of the project. Already, 
a 90% increase in the diversity of wetland vegetation has been noted in restored areas of the wetland. This monitoring data will be used to track the health of the Braddock Bay ecosystem and to inform future adaptive management.